When you're operating your fans out there, we want you to stay safe. So let's talk about some key safety practices that you can practice whenever you go to check out your fan or do some type of work on it. First off, make sure you follow your lockout and tagout procedures. Secondly, do not exceed max design fan temperature or max design speed. Especially coming from the manufacturer's point of view, those things are critical, especially to your wheel's success. You exceed those and sometimes your wheel can crumple on itself, you can have catastrophic consequences. Don't do it. Next, vibration. Vibration and temperature are killers in your fan's overall life. So if you're keeping your vibration levels within the levels that have been specified by your fan manufacturer, you can really keep the life of your fan going a lot longer. Now you can check vibration on a regular basis if you have a switch on the side of your pedestal or sensors in your bearings, or you can also do a balance check once a year where you bring in a balance technician and they check the bearings for vibration. Next is the bearing temperature. So bearings have grease in them and that grease has properties that have a max design temperature. If you're monitoring the temperature on those bearings with temp detectors or RTDs, you can make sure that your bearings never exceed the max temp for that grease and you can extend their life a lot longer. The next thing, this fan has guards for a reason. Keep them in place. Don't run the fan without these guards in place. So these guards are over the belts. These ones are over the shaft and the bearings. Next, there's an access door on this fan, and that is for you to open it and look inside the fan. Don't do that while the fan's running. Make sure your fan's off before you ever pull the access door off. Make sure you don't pull the access door while the fan is running. And while we're at it, don't ever inspect anything inside the fan or inside the guards while the fan is running. Always turn the fan off before you inspect anything that doesn't sound quite right. If your fan is moving hot gas, it's going to stay hot for a little while even after you turn it off. Give it time to cool down before you get in and check it out. Lastly, do regular maintenance checks. Every once in a while, shut the fan down, check the belts, check the shaft and bearings, and especially check inside the fan. Make sure you don't have any cracks in your blades, any fatigue signs that are showing up, any loosening in there at the hub of the wheel. If you follow all of those steps, you stay safe, your fan stays healthy.